guys, Cece from CMS Hall Monitor here. I just wanted to give everyone a friendly reminder that even though, um, that even though, even though every dialysis clinic has different policies and procedures regarding EPO administration and anemia management related to EPO, that they all are going to be similar because everybody reports to me. So what I want you guys to know is kind of where CMS gets their data from. And a lot of their data comes from the National Kidney Foundation. And they have done a lot of great research through, uh, what does it say here? Let me look it up. Okay, I have my contacts in and my glasses, okay. Oh, hi, it's, it's really me. <laughs> All right, and then there's also something that you'll hear called Kadoki guidelines. They have done a lot of research that has turned into best practice that CMS uses as requirements or as guidelines for dialysis clinics to provide the best and safest care for our patients. So I hope that's kind of helpful what, where, why the dialysis clinic follows CMS guidelines and then where CMS gets their guidelines. And that's Nurse CC signing off. Please subscribe, ask questions, and enjoy. And I'm sure you'll be seeing me again. Oh, other fun fact is one of the foods that we recommend to dialysis patients with their dry, dry mouth are grapes. Grapes are a safe food for pe people on dialysis to eat. And um, if you freeze them, they usually help with dry mouth too.